As you may or may not know, Chiori gets possibly the highest damage increases from her constellations in the entire game. At C4R1, she's nearly dealing hyper carry damage, and from C0 to C6, her damage can more than triple, and that's while still using her as a sub DPS. But Chiori C6 allows her to be used as a very powerful main DPS as well. Her C6 reduces her skill cooldown to 4 seconds, and adds 235% defense scaling to every single normal attack hit. Note that this is normal attacks only, not charged and plunging attacks, so no Jianyun shenanigans here. 235% defense scaling on each normal attack is incredibly high, since Chiori can do quite a lot of normal attacks. A combo of E, 3, N, 3, D, E, 3, N, 3 allows her to do 24 normal attack hits within an amount of fill time that gets her just enough uptime on the team buffs. N, 3, D is the combo you want to do here because it is a multi hit and the defense scaling is added to both hits, so you want to get to her N, 3 as much as you can. With the N3D combo, that's over 5,000% defense scaling on her normal attacks, resulting in incredibly high damage. And alongside that, since Chiari is being used on field, her skill hits will be doing a lot more damage than usual at the same time, since on fielding her means she will benefit from buffs that she wouldn't from off field. Furthermore, her cast skill does great damage. You are now casting it multiple times in the rotation, and casting it can reset her puppet attack patterns, potentially resulting in a few more hits. All these things combined make her damage absolutely incredible at C6. Now, what teams should you use with her at C6? You need C6 Goro, a third Geo unit, and a way to get shields. C6 Goro is her best buffer, buffing her damage by about 30%, which is really nice since he is on her banner. And since you are using C6 Goro, that's why you want a third Geo unit. Zhongli kills two Borks with one stone by being both the third Geo unit and the shielder. After that, you just need another buffer. There aren't too many options to buff a defense scaling Geo unit that does primarily skill and normal attack damage, but one good option is Yunjin, as she provides a Bennett level buff to normal attacks, and will have relatively low energy requirements with a 4 Geo team. You can also use Yelan instead and she will work great with her own decent sub DPS damage, as well as a bonus dam damage bonus buff. If using Yelan, you could also use Yunjin instead of Zhongli, and rely on Crystallize for shielding. I wouldn't advise relying on Crystallize, but it is an option if you don't have Zhongli available. Another option is you can do Chiari Goro Yunjin while using a shielder like Thoma or Layla. In these type of teams, as we can see on the charts, Chiari deals almost 3 million personal damage, and with better artifacts, substats than what I have calculated here, she can easily reach that 3 million damage threshold. That's insanely high damage, and she's even capable of front-loading a lot of that early into her field time. So C6 Chiari will be absolutely destroying enemies very, very fast. There is, however, one main drawback. Her damage is pretty single target. She can hit like 2, maybe 3 enemies if they are super close. But for the vast majority of AoE content, she's certainly not going to be the greatest, but you can make adaptations to her team for AoE content. If the enemies don't get lifted by Venti, you can use him if you will bring the enemies close enough for most of her hits. However, if they do get lifted, her normal attacks will not reach. In that case, you can use Kazuha. You might think she loses too much damage by using an Anemo Grouper instead of a buffer, but even with just Zhongli and Goro plus GRS nets for buffing, she still does over 2 million damage, which is more than enough for AoE content. Heck, I've even seen the run use both Kazuha and Sucrose with only Zhongli for buffing. I'll have a link to any runs I mention in the pinned comment. 
Another creative thing I've seen was using Ito as the fourth unit and just on-fielding him when AoE is needed, then swapping back to Chiyuri for a single target or enemies that she can hit multiple on of. To get the best out of that, you would definitely need Ito to be at like C6, but if you happen to have Ito even at lower constellation, I'd give it a try and see how it does. It might impress you. These are all different ways you can mitigate her lack of AoE. It certainly won't turn her into one of the best AoE DPS, but it is more than sufficient enough. Now, there are a few more things that make C6 Chiori an incredible DPS that might be easy to overlook. One thing is, she can do really fast rotation setups, so something like Zhongli Hold E, Guru EQ, Yunjin Q, that's only like 5 seconds of setup before getting to your damage. Having fast rotation setups can play a huge role in clear times, especially at this level of investment. Another thing is, while at first glance, her damage may seem like it's purely sustained, she can actually do a lot of it very early into her fill time and rotation. If we look at the damage that she deals just by the time she performs one full in 3 combo, that should be about 4 regular puppet hits, 4 hits from the C2 and C4 puppet, her burst, 2 A1 hits, 2 skill casts, and the in 3 combo. That's over 1 million damage already, and she has way more damage that she can still sustain throughout the remainder of the rotation. Lastly, Cherry basically gets permanent uptime on her Geo Infusion and the normal attack buff, since it lasts 5 seconds, but the skill has a 4 second cooldown. She can kill enemies fast enough for this to not even matter, but it's still a very nice benefit as you don't have to worry about it not lasting long enough to deal with things like multi-phase bosses or multiple waves of enemies. Overall, C6 Chiari has incredible single target damage with really good front load, and while her AoE is not great, she does have ways to mitigate her AoE issues and still be plenty sufficient enough. Her essentially permanent Geo Infusion and the normal attack buff also gives her great flexibility to deal with many different enemy scenarios, and she does it all with great comfort since she's Geo and will have shielding. So if you really like Chiari and want to invest this highly into her, you can rest assured that you will be getting your Primo Gems worth. If this video helped or entertained you at all, please be sure to support the channel with a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Comment letting me know your thoughts. I reply to every comment. Thanks. Bye.